ओम शांति आध्यात्मिक विश्वविद्यालय प्रेजेंस भागवत भागवत स्टोरी ट्वेल्व गीतांजलि attracted to the melody of the murlis and determined to stay pure throughout her life 21 year old gitanjali a girl from dilshad garden delhi stepped forward to join the family of adhyatmik vishwavidyalay she had been taking the spiritual knowledge since 2010 unable to convince her own father who had prohibited her from pursuing the knowledge and insisted her on getting married Gitanjali had to leave her final year studies of biotechnology incomplete and leave her home to run towards the Adhyatmik Vishwavidyalay. Dedicating herself to the service of God, Gitanjali joined the Adhyatmik Vishwavidyalay on 18th August 2011. As soon as she reached the Adhyatmik Vishwavidyalay, that is on 18th august 2011 mindful of her father's opposition geetanjali sent a letter by registered post to the superintendent of police dilshad garden enclosing the proof of her date of birth in which she stated her decision to live in the adhyatmik vidyalay voluntarily and also sought protection from her parents and relatives apart from this On 20th August 2011, Geetanjali went to the police station located in Budel, Chandigarh, expressing her condition and doubts and stating the apprehension of danger from her parents. She gave them a request letter seeking police protection. But instead of providing security, the police personnel themselves called the girl's parents and called them to Chandigarh. Geetanjali's parents immediately reached the Chandigarh Adhyatmik Vishwavidyalay on 21st August 2011 and threatened her. They forcibly tried to drag her home, which also disturbed the peaceful atmosphere of the Adhyatmik Vishwavidyalay. The police of Gurel police station did not take any action against this. Admin on her decision to stay pure on 21st August 2011 Geetanjali had to request the deputy commissioner of police Chandigarh to get police protection from Budel police station Acting immediately the deputy commissioner of police Chandigarh warned the girl's parents not to behave in such a bad manner towards their major daughter Still Geetanjali had a doubt that her father would not keep quiet and would definitely file a false case after going back to Delhi because of which on 24th August 2011 she informed the deputy commissioner of police Silampur Delhi SHO Jilmil police station Delhi and SDM Jilmil Delhi that her parents might file false and fabricated complaints based on some wrong allegations against her and the chiefs of the Adhyatmik Vishwavidyalay Geetanjali's suspicion turned out to be correct and her father Balkishan Anuragi filed a criminal writ habeas corpus petition number 1438 by 2011 in the Delhi High Court he had alleged that his daughter Geetanjali was kept hostage by the people of the Adhyatmik Vishwavidyalay Geetanjali's father Balkishan used mean tactics in the high court Sometimes he created false pretenses through the principal of the biotechnology college by calling him to the court and sometimes made Gitanjali's maternal uncle stand before the court and speak falsely. Recognizing the will of Gitanjali, the Delhi High Court passed an order on 30th March 2012 that the Adhyatmik Vishwavidyalay will not impose any restrictions if the parents of the girl wish to meet their daughter. saying that geetanjali was left with the right to decide if she wants to meet her parents or talk to them in fact one of the main slogans of the adhyatmik vishwavidyalay is be free and let free that is why there is no question of any of such restriction on part of the adhyatmik vishwavidyalay
Even now, Geetanjali is living with the Adhyatmik Vishwavidyalaya family enjoying the knowledge without any hindrance.